Okay, Mom, is that everything you wanted me to do? Yep, that's everything. All right, then. I'm going to head upstairs. Oh, Kyle, one last thing. Yes? Can you pass me this remote? Mom, it's right here. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? No, I'm good. We did a good job cleaning today. Yeah, I... We did. I'm going to go take a nap now. Kyle! Yes? Yes? You must be lazy. We going lazy. How did you... What you need, Mom? I need you to get me some coffee from Starbucks. After all that work today, I need something to wake me up, you know? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back with it. I've got a low-fat venti, extra syrup, extra whipped cream, 12 pumps of sugar, vanilla macchiato for Sharkisha. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, can I get a... Oh, hold up. You're not ordering, are you? Yeah, why? You gotta wait in that line over there. You mean behind the line for the new iPhone? Sir, that's the Starbucks line. That's the... What are y'all, giving away free drinks or AirPods or something? Nope, just selling coffee. <sighs> y'all don't have an express line or something? You should have ordered on that before you came. Otherwise, you can express yourself to the back of the line. Thank you, next. Finally. How can I help you, sir? Hi, uh, how much is a coffee? Depends on what kind, but that'll be about $7. No, 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 I meant for a cup of coffee, not a whole coffee bean bag. That is for a cup. $7 for one? Y'all don't have a student discount or something? Hey, Starbucks isn't a drink, okay? It's a lifestyle. If you want a 50 cent McChino, you can go to the McDonald's down the street. Oh my, look, why would I pay $7 for a drink? Why would you, do you not see this green mermaid? That's worth like $7 right there. Look, nobody's gonna pay $7 for a coffee. Sir, can you hurry up? I need my Starbucks before work. Did you know they're charging $7 for this stuff? Oh shoot, they're having a sale? Okay, you know what? Let me just get a medium coffee with the, oh uh, what? I said a medium. See, that's not in the Starbucks dictionary. Do you mean grande? Yeah, same thing, doesn't matter. Hey, it does matter. You call Ariana Grande Ariana Medium? You call Biggie Smalls Biggie Tall? I didn't think so. Thank you, next. Okay, okay, fine. I'll get a grande coffee. We don't just sell coffee here. What? You have to pick what kind of Starbucks experience you want to purchase. We have the Frappuccino, the Cappuccino, the Latte, and the Mocha. Mm. <sighs> All right, what's a Cappuccino? Our Cappuccino is one of the most popular drinks here. It's composed of a double espresso and evaporated milk and topped at the surface with a dairy-based foam. Isn't that just warm milk and coffee? Aren't your shoes just mad fake and ugly? The answer is yes, but we don't just go around saying it, now do we? <sighs> you know what? Forget it. What drink's the cheapest? Well, our Frappuccino starts at $6. Okay, I'll get a grande frappe. Hey, one sec. Hey, sir! Hmm? Did you just dip that donut in your coffee? Yeah. Get out. For why? I get out, go! Dunkin' Donuts in Starbucks. We don't do that here! Sorry about that. What were you saying? Uh, I, I said I'll get a Frappuccino. Great choice, sir. Just a standard double caramel pump, single espresso shot steamed, iced with extra low-fat sweetener and whipped cream. Uh, see? Perfect. Your total's $8.50. $8.50? Hey, you said $6. I said starting at $6. The whipped cream and coffee you requested costs extra. Oh my- <sighs> Whatever. I'm talking about some Starbucks. I might have no bucks after this whole thing. Thank you. And what's your name? Kyle. Okay. All right, Steven, you can wait for your drink right around the corner. What? I said Kyle. Oh, uh, my bad, Sid. I got you. Sid, I said Kyle. Listen, nice, JJ. This is the last time I'm going to change your name. I'm switching up more than my grades out here. Oh, my... <sighs> Whatever. Hey, what are you doing? Making your drink? Where's all the coffee? Hey, I already put some in here. If you want an extra drop, it's going to cost extra. Whatever. Kyle? Huh. They actually got my name right. How did you... All this for a grande frappuccino. It is grande! Get it right, Kyle! Well, it's about time you got here. Here. Now I'm about to go upstairs. Uh-uh. What is this? It's your drink. Oh, no, it's not. Look at it all melted. And Where's the coffee? Uh-uh. I ain't asked for a Rappelino. I'm gonna need you to go back right now and have them fix this. Mm-mm. I carried you nine months. You can carry a decent cup of coffee to your mother. Hey, Grandpa. Oh. Hey, Kyle. Hello? Uh, hey, Grandpa. I'm here. I'm trying to Snapchat this text, but it's not working, see? Grandpa, I can't see your screen. Why not? Because you're... Grandpa, are you in the house? Yup, I'm in your room. Why are you... Okay, hold on. I'll meet you there. Okay, I'm gonna wait for you, Kyle. You still coming? Grandpa. Oh! Boy, you trying to give me a heart attack? Oh, my bad, Grandpa. What's the problem, though? I can't unlock my phone. Grandpa, says slide to unlock right on the lock screen. And I've been hitting the slide all day, but it's not unlocking. What are you do- You know what? Just let me see the phone. Alright. 
Here. Let me see this right here. Oh, you a whole genius, boy. All right, well, I'm about to go to this Migos concert. I'll be back later. Oh, you thought that was all I needed? Boy, I got a whole list of stuff I need your help with. This technology ain't gonna fix itself. Grandma, I'd love to help, but I'm really trying to get to this concert early so I can get close to the stage and all. Boy, you can spend two seconds with me if you can spend all night with that Migos guy. Me? No, it's a rap group, Grandpa. Take off Offset and Quavo? Boy, nobody care about no takeout off brand and queso. Now come up and Grandpa. All right, what you need, Grandpa? Well, I'm trying to Snapchat a text to your grandma, but it's not going. Hold up, Snapchat a text? Yeah. Why don't you just email her? Isn't that the same thing? It's a message, isn't it? All right, whatever. Let's just hurry up and do this, because I've really got to go. All right, all right. Don't rush me now. Let's see here. S. T. Where's the T? Boy, there ain't no T on this keyboard. Yes, there is. Grandpa, just let me type it. Hey, I got it. Okay? I'm still hip enough to send an email message. Grandma, you're taking forever and I gotta go. Hey, what's that tone, boy? I'll bust this can over here behind. Where do you think your mom got it from? Okay, okay. Just finish the email, please. Thank you. Now, let me see here. Where's that dang S again? Just one more letter. What? Kyle! Kyle! Uh huh? Yeah? The screen went black. It what? Oh shoot, it died. It died? It was only five years old, how'd it die already? How long do iPhones usually live till, boy? No, wait. It, it's gotta be charged, Grandpa. Oh. Well, I'll just send it later, it wasn't important. Wasn't important? Okay, whatever, I'm about to head up then. Whoa, slow your horses, boy. I didn't say I was done with your help just yet. Look, this last thing is quick, I promise. <sighs> what is it? Can you type the Wi-Fi password for me on the computer? All right, yeah, I got you. Thank you, Kyle. Let me just sign in here. What? Hold on, let me, let me try this one. Wait just one second. Come on. Could have sworn it was Big Pappy 24-7. Oh, dang, come on. What happened? It's disabled for five hours. Five hours? How many times did you try it? Hey, I don't know, I lost track. But it's okay, we'll just wait until it lets me try again. In the meantime, you can help me figure out why the TV isn't talking to me. You know what? No, I can't. I've been waiting three months for this concert, and I'm not about to miss the last one hour I have left of it because you can't figure out how to unmute the TV. Can we please just figure this out when I get back? You know what? You're right, Kyle. This can wait. I'm sorry if I held you up. It's alright. Here, let me drive you. It'll be faster. Alright, thanks, Grandpa. Alright, let's see now. All right now. Uh, Grandpa, you can still drive, right? Of course, boy. I still got it. World. Because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have the car and drive, not park. I knew that. I got it. I mean, I can drive if you want. But I know what I'm doing. Oh, Lord. You can return those tickets, right? Wake up, it's time to school. Come on, boy, go get that education. Because Lord knows when you turn 18, you don't have to go to college, but you can't stay here. Mom, I think I'm sick. Sick? Boy, you look fine to me, now come on. Mom, I'm serious. I feel terrible. Mm-hmm. About to feel a lot worse if I catch you lying. Where's my thermometer at? Here, put this under your tongue. We gonna see about this. You're a little warm. Mom. All right, all right. I got some rope testing downstairs. I'll give you some on the way to the bus stop. Mom, come on. All right. If you really feel you need to, you can stay here today just this once. Thank you. Okay, let me know if you need anything. You ready? What? Well, you were doing all that moving around up here, so I assumed you were better now. Bob, we're just going to the bathroom. If you can walk to the bathroom, then you can walk to your classroom. Now let's go. Bob, I'm still sick. Hold up. How are you going to be sick? But walk around here like you're healthy. See, this little hooky game's getting real old. Bob, I... You know what? Forget it. I'm just going to say a bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Talking about sick. I'm sick of these excuses. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So you're well enough to read all these Instagrams and texts, but you're too sick to read your classroom materials. Bob, that's completely different. Oh, and how was that? I'm rested. And you can rest in class. It'll be more productive than just texting one of your little friends anyways. Bob, you're the one that texted me. Hey, I didn't ask you all that, okay? Okay, you know what? I'm going to sleep. Good. 
acting sick. You ain't got nothing but the bird flu. Kyle. Yes? 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 Sweep the ceilings. Ball oh, sick! And I'm sick of these ceilings looking dusty. What, you thought you were gonna stay here all day and not do any work? <laughs> what? Stay in the hotel? Mom, I need bed rest. I don't feel well enough to go around sweeping ceilings. Yeah, you felt well enough to walk down all those stairs. You sure you're taking care of this? Cause this don't add up. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Where are you going? To school, Bob. So I'm clearly not sick enough to stay home. Hey, now hold on. Nah, nah. Since it's so important, I'm gonna make it to school. I'm gonna... Kyle! Kyle! Kyle, who's gonna sweep these ceilings? Kyle. Okay, you can take it off this once. Hey, baby, I'm here. Okay, I'll be there in like an hour. An hour? Didn't you tell me to be here at three? Yeah, but my appointment ran late. But don't worry, my dad's home. You can just get to know him until I get back. Babe, hello? Uh, hey, Mr. Anderson, I'm Kyle. I don't know who you are. Uh. Yeah, look, I can just come back when your daughter gets home. No, no, that's cool. Come on in, Kyle. Um, I just wanted to let you know I really appreciate you bringing me into your house mm -hmm. and letting me wait mm -hmm. here for my- What are your intentions with my daughter? What? Did I stutter? Like, are y'all about to get married or- No. Oh, so you don't say anything long-term with my daughter? This is one of your little flings? No, I never said that. Look, I'm just dating her and seeing what we'll become. So a man without a plan, huh? You know, why don't you tell me about your stuff, Kyle? Okay, well, I'm from Connecticut. I'm in college right now, and I'm working on starting my own business for You know what? Time. No, no, you don't fit the criteria at all. What criteria? Well, first of all, you're ugly, okay? And I'm not dealing with ugly grandkids. And second of all, I- Mr. Anderson, can you just hear me out, please? <sighs> Fine. How are you doing in school, Kyle? Well, actually, I'm doing pretty great. I'm in honors. I got a 4.0 GPA, and I- That's it? That's the highest you can get. Maybe the highest you can get, okay? But my daughter doesn't date slackers. I study for five hours every day. And yet you're still messing up in school. Matter of fact, do you even have a job? I mean, I have a full ride, so I don't really need a job. Oh, so you're an employee. Good to know. Good to know. Hold up, I wouldn't say I'm... Are you taking notes? Hey, I'll be the one asking questions here. So why didn't you mention to my daughter that you have a son yet? I don't! Dishonest too, huh? You really gonna sit here and act like you've never seen this child before? Yeah, I saw you put him on your chat snap. Mr. Anderson, that's my little brother. Oh, really? He looks a little too similar to you for him to be your brother. No, maybe call Moria. Okay, Mr. Anderson, you're being ridiculous. Oh, am I? I think it's pretty reasonable to not want that baby drama in my household. I don't have a... Mr. Anderson, you're not even giving me a chance here. I'm giving you enough of a chance to see what you're about. But regardless, I can't have a heartbreaker dating my daughter. I saw you and your little side chick on the Instagram. What are you talking about? Hey, don't play dumb with me. You're telling me you've never seen this picture before? Yeah, caught. Mr. Anderson, that's my mom. Hey, I didn't ask you what kind of nasty names y'all call each other. I just don't want a heartbreaker dating my daughter. Okay, you know what? That's it. I'm tired of this. Hey, listen. No, no, no. You listen to me. Yeah, I'm dating your daughter, but that doesn't mean you get to just judge me and talk to me like this. So whether you like it or not, we gotta deal with each other. So you might as well show me some respect. Mm -hmm. Instead, mm -hmm. now this isn't gonna work. What are you doing? Ending this relationship. Dad? Huh? Oh, oh, hey, baby girl. How was your appointment? Um, good. What's going on here? Oh, I was just having a conversation with your boyfriend here. Okay. Isn't he great? I think it'd be great if he stopped trying to be all cuddled up with you right in front of me. You trying to give her some space, Kyle? What are you talking about? This is what's wrong with him. Ugly and can't listen? You need to drop him, baby. Okay, that's enough. Look, Mr. Anderson, I might not be everything you want me to be, but I love your daughter, and I would never let anything bad happen to her. I just wanted to spend time with her and treat her like the amazing woman she is. You know what? Maybe I misjudged you, Kyle. You want to stay for dinner? All right. Yeah, that sounds great, actually. All right, I'll call him some pizza. Let me do Oh. Kyle, uh, can I use your phone? I think I left mine in the kitchen. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Let's see now. Oops, uh... Yo, Kyle, you remember that party we went to last week? The one you told me not to tell your girlfriend about because all those girls were trying to talk to you? They were cute, too. Matter of fact, your ex was there, too. You remember y'all were talking it up, and... So, uh... We still getting that pizza? Alright, thanks for coming. Have a nice day. Hey, Kyle. I'll mark his cleanup. You can go ahead and clock out. Alright, thanks, boss. Table for one, please. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but we're closed. What do you mean you're closed? 
like we're no longer serving customers. But if you come tomorrow, I'll be happy to. No, no, no. Your site specifically says you're closed at 12 o'clock. Sir, it's 11.59. Which is before 12 last I checked. Now I demand service. Look, sir, you're gonna have to wait until tomorrow or just eat somewhere else because we're not about to- well, Of course we'll serve you, sir. My employee will get right on that. Well, Mr. Boss, take a seat wherever you like. Thank you. Dang. All right, can I start you off with a drink? Uh, yeah, I'll take an extra medium water with a little bit of- Hold up, you said a medium water, right? Nah, extra medium. And also get a- We only have regular and kid sizes here. What? Nah, 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 I didn't ask for a regular or kid size. I said I want an extra medium drink. But we don't have extra medium, sir. Are you denying me service? No, we just don't have- This is ridiculous. Manager? Manager? You know what? Go ahead and call him. He's gonna say the same thing. Terribly sorry about that, sir. Here's your drink. How did you- Kyle! If I can call him here again, it's your job on the line. What? Mr. Boss! Don't make me come in here again. Alright, you ready to order? Yes, I am. Let me get the chicken parmesan. Okay. Oh, by the way, especially today's pesto while I did a visit with the side. Hold up, I know you're not telling me why I want to order. I'm not, I'm just reading off the specials. But I already told you what I wanted, am I wrong? I mean, yeah, but... Nah, nah, ain't no buts. Okay? I know you're not rolling your eyes. Yeah, yo, manager. Manager over here. Uh, that won't be necessary, sir. I'm gonna go get your food right away. Um, excuse me, sir, is my food almost here, too? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll bring yours, too. <sighs> Alright, here you go, sir. Thank you, I appreciate it. Hold up, hold up, why is he getting this food before me? He was here first. Hey, I'm sitting here waiting a whole five minutes for my chicken parm, okay? That's unacceptable. Now, if I don't get my parm parm soon, we're gonna have a problem. Sir, can you please give me a break? I got it right here. Well, I'll give you a break when you give me my chicken parm. Oh my... Thank you. Service is slower than T-Mobile. Is that all? Yes. You can stop hovering over my food now. Waiter? Waiter! Can I get some service here? Yes, what can I do for you? This food? Yeah. I hate it. I want something else. You ate the whole thing! Hey, last I checked, if you don't like something you ordered, you can get something else. Am I wrong? Yeah, if you don't clean your plate. Hey, watch yourself. I had to try to make sure I didn't like it first. It's not my fault you can't cook. Okay, that's it. I'm not getting you another meal without a complimentary dessert. What can I get for you, sir? I'll take another chicken parm and a cheesecake. But you just said... <sighs> right away, sir. Alright, here you go, sir. Thank you. Alright, you ready for the check? Yes, I am. Alright, here. Thank you. Is this a skip card? Hey! Oh, don't open Okay, okay, what's going on here? Your employee threw spaghetti at me when I was trying to leave. Nah, boss, I can explain. Kyle, you're fired. Nah, we don't pay you $2 an hour for this. Mm -mm. Get your stuff and go. Hey bro, have you seen my phone? Wait, bro, stop! What are you doing to my stuff? April Fools. What? April Fools, it was an April Fools joke. I really got you, huh? How is that a joke? You just broke all my stuff. Exactly. Come on, you gotta admit it was a good joke. I see that smile coming across your face. It's not even April 1st. What? Yeah, it is. It says right here that it's April. Oh, shoot. My bad, bro. See, I know you got Apple Care from the last time I broke your phone. Yo, come here! Oh, shoot! Number one. The teacher that teaches something completely different than what you're tested on. Alright, class, hopefully by now you understand this concept. Yes, Kyle. So if we understand this, we should be good for the test? Yep, as long as you understand this, you should be okay. Alright class, put your notes away. I'm gonna be passing out the test now. What? Well, hold up. This isn't what we learned at all. This is exactly what we've been learning. It's not even in English. Look, it's not my fault if you don't understand the material. You should have studied. The teacher that hates you. Alright class, turn your assignments into the front of the class. Here you go, sir. Have a nice day. Kyle, I didn't get your assignment. What? I turned it into you yesterday. Nope, I think I would've remembered that. I'm gonna have to give you a zero for the assignment. That's not fair. Can I just reprint it and give it to you tomorrow? That wouldn't be fair to the other students. You're getting a zero and that's final. But I did the- Um, excuse me, Mr. Jabote. Um, I forgot to hand in my assignment yesterday. Is it okay if I hand it in now? Oh, no problem. Oh, really? Thank you. Yep, anytime. The bipolar teacher. And that's the lesson for today, class. Any questions? 
Come on class, don't be afraid to ask questions. I'm sure to help. So any questions you have, I'll be happy to answer you. Thank you, Kyle. What's your question? Can you go over how to solve three variable equations again? Three variable equations, huh? I just went over that! Y'all never want to listen to my class! Asking all these dumb questions! Fat, get out of my classroom! Dang. The picky teacher. Alright class, you're getting your essays back today. Just pass them back to your classmates. Thank you. What? Hold up, Mr. Djibouti? It's Jabote! Yeah, whatever. Why'd I get an F on this essay? It was a great essay. It really impressed me, to be honest. Then why did I fail? You missed a comma on the third line of your essay. What? Mr. Djibouti, you need to change my grade. And you need to change your attitude. You missed the comma, you missed your chance to have a passing grade on the paper. The super hard teacher. Alright class, I hope you read the book on the theory of advanced mathematics that I assigned in class yesterday because we're going to be applying those concepts in our lesson today. This is a very simple equation, so I expect for you to be able to do this no problem. Mr. Djibouti? Is Jib- Yes, Kyle. This problem is ridiculous, you can't expect us to get this. I'll have you know this is the simplest problem we've done all year. What? Okay, show me how to do it. Gladly. First you take the x and you multiply it by- I mean, you, you divide the reciprocal by- hold, hold on, hold on, give me a sec. What? What? And today we're gonna be drop testing the iPhone 7. Bro, what are you doing? Starting on my YouTube channel. Let's see how it did. Bro, come here. Thank God. Someone waste some money in here? Uh, I know you didn't break. That phone's expensive, Kyle. Metro BS charged me $6 a month for that thing. But Timmy just, hey, I don't wanna hear excuses, okay? That phone better be fixed by the end of the day. And fix that face while you're at it. All right, sir, have an innovative day. Hi, sir, how can I help you today? Hi, uh, I just wanted to get my screen fixed. All right, no problem. Let me just charge you the $500 for that and get you on your way. Oh, $500 to fix a screen? Pretty good, right? I apply the employee discount for you. Just don't tell Tim Cook, okay? That's way too much. The whole phone was $500 when I got it. There's no other discount I can get for it? Well, if you had Apple Care, it would have been $495. Gotta hop on that next time. Look, for $500, I might as well get a new phone. Well, that's no problem. Here, I'll show you what we have. See, right here, we got the iPhone XS. This is the most revolutionary, innovative technology in existence. It's Isn't that the same as the phone I have now? No. Is the Oxford back? Well, no, but is the battery better? I mean, not really, but then what's different about it? Well, uh, <laughs> what's not different about it, you know? Uh, there's a larger display and a bigger screen. That's the same thing. Did you make any functional changes at all? Like a stronger screen or faster charging? If we gave y'all a better camera and hand emojis, okay? What more do y'all want? Okay, whatever. How much is it? A thousand dollars. A thousand? For an iPhone? If you want something cheap, they got Andrews for sale right around the corner. Good luck getting followers on the gram with all those pixels in your photos. That'd be looking like an 8-bit Mario. Oh my... <sighs> Alright, what other options do you have? Well, we have an iPhone XR for a real low price. Thank you. How much is that one? $750. Okay, do you have any other options to pick from? Oh, we have a bunch of new products. We just finished the production of the Apple Car. See, it's a sleek, simple design that features an iPad steering wheel and... Where are the windows? Hey, hey, this is Apple, okay? We don't use windows here. But we didn't sell iOS into the car. Keys and engine are sold separately, though. Oh my... Look, I don't want a car, okay? I just want a working phone. You sure you don't want to check out the Apple Water? The what? The Apple Water. See, it features twice as many hydrogen molecules as oxygen molecules for a low price of $99. Look, and nobody's gonna buy that! Yes, I got the new Apple Water! Can't wait to try it out with my new Apple Ice. Okay, this is too much. Let me just get the new iPhone. Glad you made the right decision. Would you like a pair of AirPods with your purchase? They're 1% off when you buy a new iPhone. No, I... I'm good. See, I don't think you are. This is the deal of a lifetime. Look, I'm not spending $150 on wireless earphones. I'm just gonna lose them. That's why we made the AirPod holders for just $50 more. So you're really missing out here. Look, just give me the phone. All right, dang, that'll be $1,000. Here, thank you. All right, have an innovative day. Thank you, better go innovate how to pay this rent now. Oh, watch out for the Apple skateboard. The what? Whoa. Oh, dang. Should've got the Apple care, huh? The over-exaggerators. What is this mess? What are you talking about? Hey, don't use that tone with me. Whoa, what tone? Well, I swear if you do it one more time. Okay, okay. Now I want this room clean by the time I get back. But dad, there's literally no mess. Oh, for real? Then what is this? What is this? The nosy parents. Can I help you? What you doing? Just texting my friend. Oh, okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. Hold up, hold up, who are you texting? Shadid, the girl you met like seven times? Oh, okay, I like Shadid. I'm gonna leave you too then. Thank you.
What she saying? What? What? What are you? Dad! What? The parents with unreasonable expectations. <sighs> That's gonna be so bad. Dad, I got a hundred on my test. That's it. What? Why didn't you get a one hundred ten? Dad, you can't get a 110. You can't if you don't study enough. You need to be in those books instead of on that phone. Matter of fact, give me your phone until your grades come up. The parents that will find any reason to get upset with you. All right, class, today we're going to be learning about the Fetty Wap era of 1738. Hello? I know you're not on the phone in class. What? But you called me. Hey, hey, I don't want to hear excuses. Just wait until you get home, boy. The inconsiderate parents. Got what I was mad about. I guess I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, Kyle. Good night. Oh, make sure you close my door. Dad. Dad. Hey, that better not be an attitude out here. Get you in trouble for things they do. Bro, what are you doing? Taking my toast out of the toaster? That's not how you do it. You're gonna shock yourself. You know what? I'll do it. No, I can do it myself. You know what? Fine. Don't come crying to me when you. Ah! Whoa, what's going on here? Kyle told me to take the toast out of the toaster with a fork and I shocked myself. What? Kyle, you let your brother do something that dangerous? No, I tried to stop him, but he. I've been taking your phone for a year. What? That's crazy! You wanna let your little brother do something crazy like that? I get to do something crazy too. Now go in your room. I gotta get my good belt for this one. Never want to pay attention except for when it's something you don't want them to hear. Alright bro, let's work on this problem. If tickets to Bow Wow show cost $10 per ticket and zero people buy tickets, how much money did Bow Wow make? Hey Kyle, look at this. I bet you can't spin your spinner like that. Bro, focus on your homework. This is due tomorrow. If you crash a car on purpose, is it still called an accident? Because if you crash it on purpose, it doesn't make sense for you. Bro, can we please answer this one question? I think it's time for a break. Hello? What's up, bro? How'd it go with that girl from the other day? Oh, I'm pretty well. We're supposed to go on a date this Saturday. You're going on a date? With who? Oh, can I come? Eat your food. Use your stuff. Hi. What are you doing in my room? Hold up, is that my iPad? Maybe. Give it back. No, I want to borrow it. You have your own, just use that. But I want to use yours. Bro, give it to me. But I want to use it. It's not my fault. Hey, come back here. Make a big deal out of everything. Come downstairs, it's an emergency. Oh shoot, hold on, I'm coming. Hurry. All right, what is it? What's the emergency? I can't find milk for my cereal. You called me down here at four in the morning to help you find the milk? Yep. Why would you, the milk is right there. Oh. Thanks, Kyle. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Cook? Huh? Oh, hey Kyle, you ready for your first day on the job? Yes, sir. All right, uh, Kyle, can you be a little more professional with the attire, please? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, my bad. There we go. Now, come on, you're just in time for the new AirPods pitch. Okay, perfect. All right, Bob, this is Kyle. He'll be joining our product development team here at Apple. You have the new AirPods prototype ready? Yes, sir. Introducing the well-anticipated AirPod 3s. With a stunning new design and the advanced cloud technology, the device is... Wait, why would you make the AirPods that small? They're hard enough to lose as it is. Which is exactly why we teamed up with Tile to make the Apple earring. See, now you can be stylish and secure for only $99 more. That's the dumbest. I love it. I beg your pardon? It's everything we stand for here at Apple. Simple and expensive. I, I mean, uh, innovative. It's just an AirPod with the bottom part cut shorter. How'd y'all even come up with your AirPod designs in the past? Hey, don't worry about that. Okay? What were you thinking for the tech upgrades, by the way? Oh, how about we make them like the AirPod Pros, but a little bigger and in black? Why would anyone buy that? Why would... Did you not hear the new black design part? That's like 50% more cloud right there. Plus, we can add a broke proof of translator feature so they can still understand all the non AirPod 3 wearing people. See, now you're thinking big. Kyle, you could learn a thing or two from this man. Oh my. 
well, okay. What if we ditch the broke translator and start working on improving the sound quality instead? Kyle, that's strike one. What? Mr. Cook, you're folding like a Motorola right now. Come on, get your inner Steve going. How much are we charging for the AirPod 3s, by the way? Oh, just $350. $350? No one's gonna pay $100 more just for a different color and a translator. Oh, hold up, hold up. You don't have the AirPod 3s? No. What is wrong with- Come on, kids. You shouldn't have to see this indecency. Okay, what's the next? Uh, oh, how much should we charge for the Apple couches? The what? Oh, it's our new technology for a luxury level comfort for the AirPods, allowing them to rest in your ear for hours on end without fatigue. What do y'all think, $50? Oh my, you can't sell some earbud covers for $50. You know, Kyle's got a point. $50 just wouldn't be right. Thank you. $50 each is more like it. Thanks for catching that, Kyle. Oh my, can't we just include them with the new AirPods? You know Android would- Hey, watch the language. We don't use the A word around here. Oh my, you know what, we'll come back to it. What's next? I'm glad you asked. I'd like to introduce you to the iPhone 12 Pro. Isn't that just the last iPhone with more cameras? No, it's not. Hey, this is revolutionary technology here. The device comes with a 50% bigger and more breakable, I mean, uh, durable screen as well as a- Does it come with a charger that doesn't break as easily or expandable storage for when people run out? <laughs> of course not. But on the bright side, it's got more hand emojis. The charger and screen are sold separately, by the way. Oh, that's barely any different from the last iPhone. Hey, this is a piece of the future. Okay? The people need this. If you think you know so much, I heard the Genius Bar's hiring. You know what, Bob? I'm show you an innovation. I'm gonna show you oh, something really innovative. I'm about to Tim Cook you up, oh, dusty. Okay, that's why you built like a track phone with your. All right, all right, settle down, y'all. It's just a prototype. We can adjust it. Any suggestions? What if we had a bigger battery so the battery life actually lasts all day? <laughs> Do we look like Blackberry? Talk about some all day battery life. I think you're thinking of the wrong fruit here. But the, uh, whatever. Oh, I know. Hear me out. But what if we add another camera and make it blueberry colored this time? Someone get this man a raise. Now that's the innovation I'm talking about. Kyle, you're taking notes on this guy, right? Oh, um, this better be some screen. Let me test it out with some Star Wars or something. Oh, we don't allow Star Wars to play on our devices anymore. Yeah, we don't mess with droids here. Whatever. Hey, this is out of storage. I thought it was a brand new 512 gigabyte edition. Oh, it is. It's just to get all the features on the new iOS, we had to take up a little bit more space. How much space does it take up? Oh, just, uh, <clears throat> 510 gigabytes. 500? What's on the new iOS that takes up that much space? Did y'all add airdroppable battery or long distance wireless charging or something? <laughs> of course not. We needed it for all the new N emojis. Isn't the koala so cute with the little nose and the- Oh my, you can't sell an iPhone with only two free gigabytes. Which is why we have upgrade options for one to two terabyte iPhones starting at $2,500. That's as fair as it gets for a piece of the future. No, it's- Mr. Cook, you can't be okay with this. Yeah, Kyle's right. Something about this new iPhone just isn't doing it for me. Thank you. We should take out the new hand emojis and work on a more efficient low power mode. Then we should- How about we take away the lightning port? What? Yes! That's the forward thinking we need here at Apple! You ever thought about being CEO one day, Bob? Mr. Cook, you can't just force everyone to buy Bluetooth headphones and wireless charging mats. Okay, Zoomer. Look, you gotta live by our mission statement here. Create problems, sell a solution. I mean, uh, find problems, create a solution. In 2100, they'll thank me. Sir, don't you think that maybe if we make products that are made for 10 years from now, but break in one to two years, that maybe it's not the best idea to make them? You know, you have a point. I, I mean, I know what I'm doing. Okay? As they say around here, if it ain't broke, drop a new product till they are. I, I mean, hold up. Just forget it. Do y'all have any other decent products that you're working on? Well, we're close to announcing the Apple Car. The Apple Car? Yes, sir. It features retina screen, midnight green seats, and- How's the drive? I mean, it does the job. Does the job? Why would I pay $100,000 for something that does the job? Did you not hear me say it has a retina display? Do you want a car or a lifestyle here? Oh, you know what? Let me test drive it before I say anything. I'm glad you came to your senses. Here are the keys. Thank you. Wait, the car's on 10%. That's strange. You at least gave the car all day battery life, didn't you? Of course we did. Okay, good. As long as you don't drive it. If you drive it, it's more like two hours, but we gotta power that in-car retina display somehow, you know? Oh. Okay, how about we add true all-day battery life and at least add some windows? Hey, you need to Apple watch your mouth, Kyle. We don't use windows here. But we do have the option to install iPads with the cameras on and the window frames so you can see out. The seats and steering wheel are sold separately, by the way. You know what? That's it. Hey, where are you going? You haven't even seen the Apple shoes pitch. No, no, I think I've seen enough here. Y'all haven't listened to a single one of my ideas or made a single real innovation, so you know what? I quit. Hey, hold on now. Oh, let me guess. You want to make an Apple membership program with perks like gold text message bubbles and a free glass of Apple water for $500 a month. Now that's what I call tapping into your inner Steve. Bob, write that down. Kyle, you might have a future here. What is wrong with... You know what? I'm out. I'd rather innovate how to pay these bills than innovate this nonsense. Well, suit yourself. We'll see how many girls stick around when they see those green text bubbles pop up. Oh, my bad. I thought this was Samsung. Oh, it is. Oh, uh, hi, I'm Kyle. I heard you had a job opening. Oh, yes. Apple just wasn't doing it for you, huh? Yeah, I just couldn't. What is it that you said that Apple was doing for the new products, by the way? Uh... Well, they were working on some weird little AirPods in black, and Tim, write that down. Already on it. Wait, are you taking that idea? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have Epics here at Samsung. Okay. It's just that our SamPods just happen to have the same design. Are y'all serious? Don't you have your own original ideas? Hey, of course. This is Samsung. We're everything that Apple's missing. 
Is that where you got your logo from? You ask a lot of questions. You know that? Okay, whatever. Can we just start pitching our ideas for your new Android? Of course. What do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking we could work on making the software less glitchy and the photos less pixelated so that we can- How about we make the screen bigger and foldable into fourths this time? Now that's the Android mindset we need around here! What a genius- I mean, a uh, smart man. Kyle, you were lacking with that glitch idea, though. We need something that's gonna blow up like the Galaxy Note, not all the other blue bubble thinking. But, uh, <clears throat> what else did you say they had going on over there at Apple? You know, for, uh, inspiration? So I chased that big down, one of some biggins, so I had to go to his big brother's house and I blew that thing down. Little Red Riding Hood didn't ride home, so I'm after you now. I'm a rough for wolf, this ain't little bo peep. Don't try and cry wolf, I ain't here for no sheep. No McDonald's money, so y'all are my treat. And if we do the race, all I need is some cleats. Run to the market, big, you can run. Thanks again for coming on such short notice, Kyle. Yeah, no problem. I'll be out at a meeting for a couple hours, so if you could just keep your eye on Steven, that'd be perfect. He'll probably sleep the whole time anyway, so it shouldn't cause any problems. Okay, sounds good. Okay, perfect. I like you better than our last babysitter already. Can you believe she let Steven climb on the roof? <laughs> what? Believe me, there's gonna be no roof climbing with me. I sure hope not. Alright then, good luck. Uh, thanks? <laughs> it's about to be easy. I'm bored. Oh, uh, hey Steven. Who are you? I'm your babysitter. Your mom's gonna be gone for a couple hours, so we're just gonna chill out here. Okay. You want to watch some TV or... Let's play a game. Okay, what kind of game? Saw. Wait, what? Yeah, it's fun. See, I'll lock you in the basement and tie you up, and then you have to get out within two minutes with the stuff that I give you or else something bad happens to you. See, you can go first. Um, actually, I'm good. Uh, you think we could play something a little more safe? We can play hide and seek. Okay, perfect. I'll count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my... Steven! You found me. Get back up here. Okay. That was a good hiding place, wasn't it? No, it wasn't a good... You need to be more careful. I'm hungry. Your mom said when she comes back, she's gonna bring you something for dinner. But I want something now! You're just gonna have to... I need food. Go get me some food. If you don't, I'll tell her you let me climb up on the roof. Okay, okay, we can get some food. You wanna help me make it? Okay. Alright, what do you wanna eat? Mac and cheese! Alright, I'll get the cheese. Why don't you go ahead and heat the water up? Got it. Alright, cool. Steven, what are you doing? I'm trying to make a fire so I can heat up the water. That's not how you do- You know what, I'll cook it. Just sit down, please. Alright. Thank you. Let me just- I'm bored. Steven, you've been sitting down for five seconds. Give me something to do. Look, we can do something as soon as I finish cooking. Let's just have a conversation for now, okay? <sighs> okay. Alright, cool. Hey, Kyle? Yes? Are fish wet if they've never been dry before? Because to be wet, you really just have to be dry in the first place and then become... Okay, you know what? Never mind. What do you want to do while I cook, Steven? I want to play Fruit Ninja. Okay, cool. Oh, shoot. I left my phone in the other room. I'll be right back. Alright, Steven, I got the... Steven, stop! What? You can't do that, it's dangerous! You said I could earlier. I meant the game! Steven, give me the knife! You gotta catch me first. What? No, Steven! Okay, look. I'm tired of you doing such dangerous- Hey guys, I'm back. Ooh, uh, hey, Miss V. Hey, how'd everything go? Everything was great, Steven was perfect. Oh, that's great. Uh, where is he? He's right here. Hey, Kyle. You wanna see me do a backflip off the countertop? So, uh... Am I still getting paid? I'm on a fail test. You don't think I'm better receive. Boy, well, quit staring at me so hard. I don't want to catch the other team. Alright, right. uh, uh, felicitation. Alright, class, I hope you got a chance to do the review problem on the board. Now, the test is three questions long, just some short answer and multiple choice. Now, put your stuff away. I'm gonna start passing them out. Alright, cool. Here you go, Kyle. You want me to pass these out or? Pass them out? That's one test, Kyle. Professor, you said it was only three questions. It is three questions. How is this? All right, good luck, class. You have 10 minutes. Oh, whatever, let me just start with number one. What? Oh, professor, you never taught us this. This is exactly what I taught you. No, it's not. There aren't even any numbers in the problem. It, isn't this Chinese? It's not my job to teach you every little thing that's gonna be on the exam, okay? You should have studied more. Professor, you can't expect us to know this. Well, maybe if you actually paid attention in class, you know the material. Don't get mad at me because you want to play Instagram on your phone and listen to Sick Mode by Asteroid World instead of my lessons. Oh, whatever, let me work on something I know. Is there something easy on this? What?
Nah, nah, Professor, there has to be some type of mistake on number two. There's no mistake on number... Oh. Thank you, Mr. Exum. I didn't even notice that. Thank you. Class, for number two, there should be an equal sign at the end of the 4 plus 4 equation. Thanks for catching that, Kyle. Oh, Professor, this is ridiculous. The only ridiculous thing here is how your grades battle look if you don't stop talking during the test. Are you si- <sighs> Whatever. Class, make sure you read the directions carefully before answering your questions. Okay, don't worry, Kyle. Everyone else is gonna fail too, so we have to curve your grade. <laughs> Man, this was easy. Right? Yep. Okay, maybe I could shoot for an F+. Alright, class, five more minutes. Five more- Alright, let me at least get something down. Hey, Steven, you got the answer to number three? Yeah, here it is. Hey, Steven, what'd you get for 1A? I got 2.1. How'd you get that? I got 2.2. I got two chains? Uh, Steven, what formula did you use? Steven, please, you've been helping everyone else out. Can you just help me with number- No, I will not help you cheat on your no, test, no, no, Kyle. No, no. Steven, relax, exam. please. I Kyle! I know you're not talking during the exam. That's 10 points off. 10 point- Michael's been talking the whole time. I'm not about to study for this test. Alright, love you too, Mom. Hey, I only saw you, though. Okay? You know what? That's it. Give me your test. What? Professor, you gotta let me finish. The only thing I gotta do is be here till 3. Now give me the test. Can you at least give me a chance to fail? At least let me earn my F. Kyle, hand over the test. Hold on, wait. Let me see. Oh, Lord. Oh, shit. So, uh, you got any extra credit? I'll show you extra credit. Gotta show you that 4.0 GPA. Come here, Kyle! Uh, dang, I'm starving. What? Hey, Mom, can we order some food for when I go home? Uh-uh, we have food at home. Mom, I just checked the fridge before we left. There's no food in there. What? Then use your own money to get yourself some food if you want to be picky. Hi, can I get- Welcome to McDonald's, what do you want? Uh, yeah, can I get a 20 piece chicken nugget meal with a medium french fries and a water cup to drink? What? I, I said a 20 piece chicken nugget- Sir, speak up, you're talking lighter than Michael Jackson right now, nobody can hear you. I said I want- A what? Give me a 20 piece chicken nugget meal with a medium french fries and a water cup. Who do you think you're yelling at? You know what, roll to the second window so I can give you this two piece no saw. Okay, I'm sorry, can you hear me now? Loud and clear. Alright, I was just saying I wanted a 20 piece chicken nugget meal. Did you want a soda with that? Yeah, I'll get it. Soda machine's broken. Okay, I'll just get an ice cream cone. Ice cream machine's broken too. Alright, I'll just get a water. Water machine broke too. But you can buy a bottle of water for five dollars. What? No, I'm good. Alright, you're gonna be mad thirsty. Well, I'm not gonna spend five dollars on a bottle of water. Alright, broke boy. You know what, let me speak to your manager. Alright, bet. I'm gonna get him for you right now. Thank you. Act ridiculous. We don't see what he has to say about this. What? I said get your manager. This is the manager. What you want? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to complain about that last employee. He was real disrespectful and- So? Ain't nobody care about that? If you want to be soft and complain about your feelings getting hurt, go away somewhere else. Well, I at least think I deserve a complimentary meal for this disrespect. You can get this complimentary two-piece no sauce. Okay, you know what? Let me just get my food. Alright, let me put my employee back on. Alright, let me confirm your order. You got a 40 piece chicken nugget meal, McDouble with extra cheese, and an apple pie, right? What? No, I ordered a medium french fries, a 20 piece chicken nugget, and a water cup. Well, maybe you should have said that the first time instead of changing your whole order. I didn't, you just didn't hear me right the first time. Hey, look, it's not my fault you don't know how to speak clearly. Your total's $10. Now get out of my window. Alright, can I get a. Here, now get out of here. Hold up, can I get a cup of water? I know you guys got tap water in there. Here. Thank you. What, what is this? A water cup, what else? Nah, this is make shot glass. Y'all don't have bigger cups? We have bottles for $5. <sighs> Alright, whatever. Let me just get barbecue sauce for my chicken. Alright, here. Thank you. Nah, I got a 20 piece, not a 4 piece. I know, 20 piece comes with one sauce. Wh what am I supposed to do with this? Use it for your chicken and be happy. Can I get a couple more, please? Alright, but it's gonna cost extra. <sighs> How much more? A dollar each. A dollar? For some sauce? Boy, stop complaining. You're mad selfish. Now get out my window looking like Sid from Ice Age. Have a nice day. Ba da ba ba ba. <sighs> I'm not a mess of my order. What? Shoot. Still waiting for you to pay back that hug you owe me. <laughs> now, nah, but for real, you look good today. Boy, quit looking at me. I don't want to catch the ugly too.
Wow, so it's the date then? Uh, excuse me? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, let me call you back. Yes, uh, how can I help you? Hi, uh, I have an appointment with Dr. Exum. Oh, he called in sick with iridocyclitis this morning, but Mr. Bedentis can see you now. Mr. Bede- <sighs> Alright, fine, that works. Okay, perfect. You can have a seat in the waiting room. He'll be right with you. Ah! What did you do? Well, that one better than last time. Alright, who's next? Actually, I think I'm gonna reschedule with Dr. Exum. Young man, you're up. Actually, I just realized I'm late for my nap appointment and- Come on, sir, I don't have all day. So you ready to get your teeth pulled? No, I'm just here for a checkup. A checkup? Oh, I knew that. Go take a seat, Kyle. So I heard you go to Howard, is that right? Uh-huh. Oh, that's cool, I have a daughter that goes down there. Have you heard of... Uh, Kyle, can you move your hand, please? For what? Kyle, I need to be able to work on your teeth. Okay, but uh, aren't you supposed to put one of those mask things on first? I just ran out. But it's all good, I can work without it. Oh, great. Alright, let's get started. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, oh, wrong tool. It's all good. It happens all the time. Are you sure you know how to do this? Yes, I'm sure. Hey, who's the dentist here? Okay? They don't give out these degrees to just anybody. Besides, I've done this almost four times now. You'll be good. Oh my... All right, fine. Thank you. Now just keep your mouth open and don't move. All right. So how's school going? Uh, good. That's good. I love college. What made you pick your school? Well, I... I I'm sorry, what? I said I- Can you speak up, please? I said I- Ow! I, I told you not to move. You almost cut my tongue. Well, maybe if you weren't talking so much, I wouldn't have hit it. Oh my... <sighs> Whatever. Oops. What? What happened? Nothing. What you mean? Is that blood? Where? Right there. Mr. Bedent says I can see it. Well, maybe if you floss more, you wouldn't be bleeding. Okay. Now, can you please stop talking and moving so we can finish this? Fine. Thank you. Now, I'm going to work on taking some of this plaque off of your teeth. It kind of hurts. Ah, what? But Brad, you said you loved me. I can't love you, Susan, because I'm not Brad. I'm your grandma. Ooh, plot twist. Mr. Bedentist! Shh, hang on, this is my favorite part. Mr. Bedentist, you're messing up my teeth! Oh, oh, my bad. Did you go to medical school? That's what I thought. Now, let me fix your teeth. Lucky I even agreed to do this. Teeth looking like some piano keys. Okay, you know what? I'm done with this. You clearly don't know what you're doing. Yes, I do. Now, hold still. No, you've been making mistakes this whole time. Just let me finish. I know what I'm doing. No, I'm done. I know what I'm doing. What? So, uh... You ready for the bill? Here's the last bag of groceries. Thank you for being helpful for once. You're welcome. Well, I'm gonna go upstairs. Uh, Mom, before you go, I had a question. I was wondering if I could go to the- No. What? You don't even know what I want! You can't go anywhere until you clean the living room. I did that. Sweep the floor. I did that too. Clean the house. I did. Clean the neighbor's house. I- wh Why would I do that? Because I said so. Mom, can you be a little more reasonable, please? Oops. Fine. I have a call right now. If you can keep your brother from distracting me while I'm on the call, you can go. Thank you. Alright, I'll see you after the call. Alright, Timmy. If you need anything, call me, not Mom, okay? Okay. Okay. Can I have some of that? You just ate. I'm so hungry. Timmy, no. I bet Mom will make you share. Mom? Mom? No, no, no. Okay, you can have it. Thanks. You're welcome. Just don't. This is disgusting. Why would you? You know what? I'm going to my room. Okay, I'm gonna cook. What? Bro, you can't cook. Why not? You're too young. You'll burn yourself. You're not the boss of me. Ow! Mom, Kyle, let me cook and I burn myself. <laughs> Bro! Listen, listen. I'll let you play games on my phone if you stop calling mom, okay? Okay. But that means we've got to sit and be quiet for the rest of mom's call. Don't call either of us unless it's an emergency. Deal? Deal. Okay, good. I'll be in my room. Sick of you being so. Good job keeping your brother busy, Kyle. You can go. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. No, you have to play with me. What? Not right now. I'm leaving. No, you're not. Bro, move out of the way. Whoa! <laughs> Why push me? <laughs> Shoot. Alright, class, we're gonna start a new unit on the mitochondria today. Now we're gonna have a group project for the unit, so I'm gonna be pairing you guys up to be working on the paper and presentation for the unit due in two days. What? Mr. Johnson, that's ridiculous! Oh! You have a problem with that, Kyle? Say less. The project's due tomorrow, everybody. You can thank Kyle for the date change. Anyways, assuming we don't have any more problems to sort out, I'll call out your partners now. Kyle, you'll be working with Jerry. 
Nah, Professor, you know that's not fair. I need to switch partners. There's no switching, Mr. Rexham. Jerry's your partner, and that's final. Jerry. Jerry. Huh? Huh? You want to work on the project today? We got paired up. Hey, Ben, let's go to my place. All right, cool. All right, here's the crib. All right, let's work on the presentation together and work on the paper later. Sounds good. All right, so I was thinking for the first slide, we could have a picture of the mitochondria and have like a diagram explaining what it does and why it <laughs> He's well for it. Jerry, your project? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Okay, like I was saying. <laughs> yo, yo, God, you gotta come see this. Bro, our project is due tomorrow. We don't have time to look at YouTube videos. Alright, alright, dang, I'll start working. Thank you. Right after I finish the scandal episode. What? Bro, our project is due tomorrow. I know, but Olivia just left fits for Jake, and I gotta see if she's gonna- Jerry, come on! Alright, 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 I'll get to work. Thank you. Now, like I was saying, I think we should just have a photo of the mitochondria so that we can show the different parts. Oh, it's my girl, I gotta take this. Jerry, come on, just call her back later. It'll be quick, I swear. She told me she had to talk to me about something important. Plus, you know, I gotta keep the baby happy, you know? Hey, baby. <clears throat> hey, baby. What you doing right now? Without me, though? Wow. Alright, what's up about your day? Now school is long, I got time. Bro, get off the phone, we gotta work. Alright, dang. Babe, let me call you back. My partner's straight bugging right now. Alright, love you. Hang up first. What? Hello? Hello? Man, she's mad rude. I gotta call her back now. Bro, come on and help me with this presentation. Alright, alright, I got you. You were saying something about a Mitsubishi? What? No, the mitochondria. Oh, that's right, wrong class. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I was just thinking we should have a picture of it in the cell with why it's there and what it does. Alright, cool. I'll work on that while you work on the paper. Alright, thank you. Ooh, Lord, I gotta listen to this one. Bro, please just- I don't really care if you cry. On the rib, you should've never lied. Should've saw the way she looked me in my eye. She said, baby, I am not afraid to die. Push me to the edge. I am rather dead. Push me to the edge. Bro, can you please just work? What you mean? I am working. Okay? This is how I concentrate. Can you just sit down for five seconds and focus? All right, you're right. I'm gonna focus for real this time. Thank you. Done. What? That fast? Yep, I just sent it to you. Look. Okay. Jerry, we can turn this in? What? Why not? I worked hard for this. Well, first of all, it's a project on the mitochondria, not the Mitsubishi. I could have sworn you said Mitsubishi. Oh my. You know what? I'm going home to do the project myself. You would do that for me? You're a real friend, Kyle. Like, you can clearly see I'm swamped right now, so this really helps out a lot. Yeah, whatever. I'll send you the presentation in the morning. Thank you, bro. <laughs> what a nice guy. And that's why the cell has a mitochondria. That was terrible. Great job, Jerry. That's an A for you. Kyle, you get a D. Whoop, professor! Your paper portion of the grade was clearly flawed. The information was inaccurate, there were mistakes, and you forgot to indent. But Jerry, <laughs> this man uh, slay it as you kids say these days. You ever thought about asking Jerry to tutor you? <laughs> Should've think of bus driver. Oh dang, it's lunchtime. Dad? Oh, uh, Kyle, what's up? Can I get McDonald's? Of course you can. Hey, thank you, Dad. I as long as you got McDonald's money. Anyone in this house can have McDonald's as long as it's not on my dime. Dad, there's no food in the fridge. No food? Watch me find something right now. See? You got plenty of options. Alright, well, I'm gonna go get myself some real food. I mean, work done. I'll catch you later. Reach for my food and I'ma reach for my belt. Boy, don't try me. Let me just get that McDonald's delivery. Thank you for holding for McDelivery. Please enjoy your hold music while you're waiting to be served. Sauce a quarter, uh. What you wanna order, uh. No, you can't have water cups cause you ain't gonna get water, uh. Taking your time, get a number five. Only thing I'm loving when the clock hits five. You get one sauce, I don't care if you're struggling. This is McDonald's, but no, I'm not loving it. So I was hanging with Sir Savage at 21st in Britain, right? And then, uh, hello? Hold on a sec. What you want? Uh... Hi, can I get a number one for delivery with a- What was that? A uh, number one. Can I get a number one? Sir, you're gonna have to speak up. Your service is trash right now. I have five bars. Can I get a number one? The Big Mac? You said a honey bun and a soundtrack? We don't sell that here, sir. But I can slide in my mixtape if you want some heat. No, a number one. A water gun. A number one. Yeah, my son? Oh my- Can I get a number one? Oh, a number one. All right. Crazy. Excuse me? What was that? Uh, nothing? No, no, I heard you loud and clear. Don't get mad at me because you decided to be cheap and get an F mobile plan instead of Ryzen. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Can I also get an ice cream cone? Ice cream machine's broken. Again? 
All right, can I at least get an apple pie? An apple pie machine broke too. Well, can I at least get a cookie? No. The cookie machine's broken too? Nah, I just don't feel like making those. You know what, let me speak to your manager. Manager machine broke too. Now you about to order something or just play 21 questions? Oh my, you know what, I'm calling Chick-fil-A. I know they won't disrespect me like that. Oh. Chick-fil-A, how may I help you today? Hi, I'd like to order it. Oh, hold on. What? Hold on one sec. Hello? What? What you mean, what? You called me. Yeah, don't make me regret it. Now, what else did you want to order? No, 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 I don't need this disrespect. Oops, sorry to bother you, sir, but do you know what you want to get yet? Only thing I'm trying to get is this paycheck. Now, you're trying to get this delivery or not? We don't usually do delivery, sir, but it'd be my pleasure to hand deliver your order to you. Oh, we're delivering hands now? If you want a beef, you know I got that Big Mac. What's up? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but we only serve chicken here. Who's chicken? I'm sorry, is this a Mighty Kids meal? Because you're acting real childish right now. M meet me in the parking lot. My pleasure. Okay, hold up. Hello? What? Just let me get a Big Mac combo with some barbecue sauce. All right, your total comes out to $22. $22, that's only $10 worth of food. Yeah, plus $12 delivery charge. That's ridiculous. Well, that's what we do here. If you wanted to have it your way, you should have called Burger King. You know what, Never mind. I'm gonna have my struggle lows. All right, but that's $15 cancellation fee. $15, y'all are McDonald's, I thought you were supposed to be cheap. And I thought you weren't supposed to be broke trying to buy something, but things aren't always what we expect, are they? How long is it about to take? Three hours. Three hours? For some McDonald's? Yes, for some McDonald's. If you don't like it, you can make walk your McLazy stuff to your McKitchen and make your own food. Fine, I'll go through with the order. Good, be ready when I get there. Ridiculous, can't wait to rate one sauce. And I can't wait to give you one sauce. Wait, what? Hold on. At least it'll be here after this movie. Hello? I'm here, hurry up, I don't have all day. About time you- Here, you're welcome. Hold up, that took like two hours. Shouldn't I get something for free? You can get this complimentary two-piece no sauce. Now get inside looking like a Walmart brand Will Smith. Thanks for picking McDonald's. <sighs> At least I got the order right. What? Hey, what is this? Oh, I got hungry on the way. Have a nice day. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. So Joe's off. Well, time for bed. Slamming doors in my house. Do you pay bills around here? Huh? That's what I thought. And what? Please tell me you're not wearing those dusty shoes on my clean floor. And I just sweep. You know what? Take them off. But I. Take them off. If you're in my house, you go by my rules. This is ridiculous. This is what's wrong with people these days. They got no respect. Y'all are always doing the Snapchat or listening to Bad and Boogie when you should be listening to your parents. Look at you. Got no type of job and can't think of anything better to do than to bother people. And you ugly. You're your daddy's son, huh? Saw 22 Savage one time and thought you were a killer. Maybe if you had focused in school, you'd actually have a future. That better not be what I think it is. It's a knife. It's my good silverware. Everybody knows not to touch my good silver. You wanna see something scary? I got something real scary for you. Oh, it's gonna scare you real good. Come here, killer. 